back to this. 82%, not bad. Yeah, two sequences to go. Oh. Okay, I plug the thing into the thing and I talk to the people of the people and let's see if there's any interesting email. Hey Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No, he indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved, it's very hard to know for sure. We'll just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. Okay, any interesting emails I need to read? You wretched simple things, one step removed from animals. One step removed? No steps, none. You are animals. We had the sense, the sixth. We were transcendent. You are pretenders. You suppress. Your artifices are lies, economics, philosophy, literature, love, all born of this desperation, denying what you are, animals who root, feast, who, well, who kill, hate. That is what I think of when I think of you. Uh, if you know, you, I know you think it's dangerous for me to head to Egypt on my own, you're probably right. Wouldn't be surprised if Cross is already there. They're locking these things down left and right. We don't have a lot of options. If there's a chance to grab the last power source, we've got to take it. I promise I'll be careful. I've been fighting these bastards since before you were born, literally. The ones you name Minerva and Tinia, they called you here and then they left. Don't you find it odd that they would go through all the trouble and then just disappear? There were discs here once. I threw them into the abyss when I still could. I think they were meant for you. Filled with lies. You didn't need such things. I alone will guide you. You don't trust me. I am the enemy. I bade you kill the traitor, but if you hadn't, you would have died in the world as well. I hate you, but you will save us. So I offer my hand. I will lead you to salvation. I'm going to be here soon. Tap me in this damn museum. Should have taken more precautions. I'm sorry, son. It wasn't fair for me to come down on you, on you the way I did. Never asked for any of this, and I should have been more understanding. I hope you can forgive me. Yeah, well. Back to this thing. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. Uh -huh. The tides of war are turning. The loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army. Their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. Mm -hmm. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation, and through it, peace. 1781. Hatchet still buried. Connor, he's asking for you. Didn't think the people of the homestead knew what we were doing. Hello, Connor. <gasps> Come now. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. We're still missing too. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives... All are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. 
You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Fayet. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Oh boy. There should be an excellent luck spittle. Charles Lee may have been dismissed. But it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly. So I will go under instead. Incroyable. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. Yes. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever. Okay. Could use more intel, but not a bad idea. Leave the animus. I'm just... I just came from... Uh... Any more missions here? No, the mission is to go on a ship. Yeah, if I get... If I get to a store, then I'll go buy some stuff and use the book. I love the Chesapeake. Like through the blockade to access the bay by avoiding loyalist ships. A little cool, Mr. Faulkner. We leave for Chesapeake Bay. Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without peer. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship and a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Hmm? And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Oh, what would you have me do? And what Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Do. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from your town. Very well. Uh, that was my Aquila. Safe and sweet. Admiral de Grasse. Francois Joseph Paul de Grasse was an admiral in the French Navy and is probably best known for his victory in the Battle of the Chesapeake, where he prevented British troops from arriving to reinforce the army at Yorktown. De Grasse was the youngest child of a French nobleman. He joined the military at the age of 11 when he became a page with the religious military order of Malta. He joined the French Navy proper in 1740, aged 18. By 1775, he was serving as a captain. He helped secure Saint Domingue. Now Haiti, Haiti, for the French, which probably looked good on the resume at the time. De Grasse was promoted to Admiral in 1781, and despite failing health, was given orders to sail for America to help Washington. His victory at Chesapeake was so significant that Washington wrote to him the day after Cornwall, Cornwallis surrendered at Yorktown, saying the honor of the victory belonged to De Grasse. 
died in 1788, just before the beginning of the French Revolution, despite his role aiding rebels in America. Lucas was considered nobility in France, and his state was ransacked by French revolutionaries. His family fled to the United States, where they were welcomed as the children of a hero. I guess hero and oppressor all depend on your perspective. You say tomato, I say tomato. You say potato, I say potato. Actually, no one says potato. Sail into the battle with allies and his submissions. Chesapeake Bay. Found of the coast of Virginia and Maryland, one of the largest bays in the United States, more than 300 kilometers long and 40 kilometers wide. The site of the first permanent British settlement, Jamestown. Uh, every day at 6 or 7, 16 or 7, I have a cup of tea and think of it. Also at the side of the Battle of Chesapeake. Okay, show me any submissions. Destroy three ships using only one broadside. Here at all, Hansos! Hell is manifest upon the sea! How many do you reckon? Too many. If anyone can hold the line, tis us. I only hope the Admiral's quick to return. Enemy approaching! All right, boys! Make ready for war! Looks like they're coming to say hello. Ready yourselves! Aye, aye! Okay, let's see about that. Ow. Give me... Give me a shot. Give me a shot. to heat take your shot now it's out on anything is closed Okay, turn around as well. We're coming, we're coming. Ah, damn it. that she's breaking up Put down the ship take care voice figures by firing on other stars Turn this thing around. Ah, 
Wrong button. We've got more. Okay, let me focus fire. Okay. Other way. Wait, did we lose another one? Ready, 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 fire. Shoot it, shoot it. Come on, what's going on? Did you crap out? Okay, restarting. Start. Okay, what now? Follow ally to next encounter. Shut that. Oh, Where are our blasted reinforcements? They will come. We must hold the bay until they do. Oh, this is madness. You're alone and we're without reinforcements. Where is it? You can't just hide the ship in open ocean.
and she appears out of nowhere. Okay, switch to heat. Firing! All our guns are down. We've no way to defend ourselves now. That beast is sure to sink us if we're not careful. Okay. He's Let's... not really planning to board them, is he? Has he lost his mind? He's going to get us all killed. The ship is yours, Mr. Faulkner. You want a piece of me? Yeah, everyone's wearing red shirts and brown pants. Oh boy. That was a gamble. Bastard. Hey, we win. They say you took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you asked for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. <laughs> Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu. Récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite! Take the flags. Beep. Oop. Oop. How the hell do you take down three ships with one broadside?
Hello, Connor. Welcome back. Is everything in place? We oui. Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. Talk to distant contacts. This is destination for what? I have a distant contact next to in a tavern, of course. All right, and assassin contacts. Pennsylvania. Is seven and them Delaware. Yeah, you try to do that. And in North Carolina, you do the thing. And if I need anything, it should be... Never mind. Go, go! District. Ladies, don't sully those elegant complexions with the woman I work here. She was my wife. A trollop, but my wife. What's going on? <clears throat> no, no, not you. We're just gonna let him run away. Analyze the empty crates. Come on, step off. Oh, right, he's the, the husband. to distant contacts. First of all, let's see that shop. How can I help you? Okay, there's nothing I need. Arrows would be nice. Outreach would be nice.
think all this turning of menus is making me queasy. Deal jockey. I would love some deal jockey. And I'm out of bottles. Okay. No, that contact. No fast travel though. We were just discussing the result of your work. It seems these military men are after you. I have caught their attention. It does make our goals harder to achieve. The man we are after has gone into hiding, protected by his soldiers. We fight our way in, then. Not possible, even for a man of your abilities. But I have another, less conventional idea. You will be our prisoner, and we shall present you for the bounty. Um, what? I'll see. Thank you. People, bear witness to what happens to rebels in my part of New York. Covert escorts. These men defied the curfew, set in place 
for your safety. They assaulted His Majesty's soldiers and conspired against the authority of the military. Such blatant disregard for the protocols designed to protect the citizens of New York will be punished by death. We seek not to control you, uh -huh. to oppress you. Covert escorts. We seek only to ensure your safety in the face of conflict and aggression. The civilians of New York must be protected at all costs. That him no doesn't look like much. Doesn't matter now, does it? it the commander will have his way with him. Men I wish I could be there to, to see. your well-being. I will not tolerate it. Form up! Why are they suspicious? Look at that! They got that out! Well <laughs> done, mate! You're gonna get what's coming to you, half-breed. That man, he thought what he was doing was right. He did, as do his brothers. Mm -hmm. Who was he really? There are powerful organizations who seek control, nothing more. This man belonged to one. It does not surprise me. I don't know who you are, but if you should need my help, I am happy to give it. Yep. Let's send you on a mission then. Okay, they came back successful. Pennsylvania is in progress. Delaware is open. I've got all my people. They are injured or something? Yeah, I've got covered as good. The New York Mercury! Oh, I'm almost down. But I can fast travel. target. The target is the first travel point? Okay, they're back. Can we, ha can we do New York? Yeah. Let's go to New York. I'm 
and these patriots, for all their talk of liberty and equality, will fall back into the old ways. It will depend greatly on who is chosen to lead them. A man of humble means who has worked to earn his way. All men do not strong. But if now make then what would you do? I'm sure the leader is sorry. Is that a man? Sterilize the leader. That's interesting. That's an interesting co concept. You can only be the leader. You can only be the leader if you have no sons, no daughters. And you're sterile. I didn't do anything against him. It's no needs to quaff. Connor! This tunnel will take you into the military district. And the Admiral. He waits for you to light this signal. And then the strike begins. And we will be there as well. Last level points, finally, in the last two sequences. Light a signal fire, remain undetected, reach the signal tower in a given time, and limit health loss. <laughs> Come on. Clear shot. Okay, still undetected. Come on, come on. No, you idiots. You stupid idiots. When I'm looking up at the guard, why do you think I want to assassinate someone below that I don't even see? No, 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 no. We're doing this with a bow.
They're not looking, they're not looking. I think he's not looking. Damn it. Okay, I need to d disable the gu other guards. No shooting. God damn it. We were busy on the other side, come on. No other way to reach it. Okay, I'm doing good in time. moving I am in no condition to fight need to stay away from the guards let me guess minimum health until I get Charlesley
Where are you, Charles? Gone. <laughs> right in the nuts. Come now. You cannot hope to match me, Connor. After all your skills, you are still but a boy. With so much left to learn. Give me Lee! Impossible. He is the promise of a better future. The sheep need a shepherd. He has been dismissed and censured. He can do nothing for you now. A temporary setback. He will be restored. <clears throat> you act as though you have some right to judge. Uh, to declare me and mine wrong for the world. Uh, and yet everything I've shown you, all I've said and done, should clearly demonstrate otherwise. We did not harm your people! Uh, we did not support the crown! We worked! Under our rule, all would be equal. Do the Patriots promise the same? And I will spare you. <laughs> Brave words from a man about to die. Uh, uh, you fare no better. <laughs> Even when your kind appears to triumph, still we rise again. And do you know why? It's because the Order is born of a realization. We require no creed, no indoctrination by desperate old men. All we need is that the world be as it is. And this is why the Templars will never be destroyed. <clears throat> Ow. Don't think I have any intention of caressing your cheek and saying I was wrong. I will not weep and wonder what might have been. I'm sure you understand. Still, I'm proud of you in a way. You have shown great conviction, strength, courage, all noble qualities. I should have killed you long ago. Well, we've got a problem. One of them is down. Hatham doesn't have the amulet anymore. But the temple's still sending data. There must be more to this story. <sighs> Only one way to find out. Keep going. Please last stand. That's it, sequence 11 is complete. Okay. I thought it was gonna take longer than that. My father is dead. Charles Lee now leads the Templar Order in his place. I see now why ours is an eternal war. For each piece taken from the board, another is placed upon it. Back and forth we go. Across the world. Across the ages. Some days mine feels an impossible task. But I cannot afford to be consumed with doubt. The people need me. It looks thinner with now more than the ever. Outfit. 
I must stop the Templars. I will kill Charles Lee. New York, 1782. Get to Lee. That's it. That's the entire assignment. We gather today to remember a man of peerless vision who sought to change the world. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now, the British prepare to retreat, their spirits broken. Their forces splintered. The Patriot leadership shall soon follow. Either into our service. He sent me away. That day at Fort George. He feared for my safety. I should have stayed. He said there was no danger. He was wrong. I will kill you, Connor. This I swear. Not here, though. Not today. No. First... First, I'll destroy all you hold dear. I'll burn that homestead of yours to the ground and roast the seven heads of your precious founding fathers in its flames. And when I've finished with them, all the rest will burn as well. Your merry band of assassins, the human refuse that lives on your land, your village and its people, all of it, gone. <laughs> you can try, Charles. But as with all your schemes, this too will end in failure. Get him on his feet. He will wait. He will watch. And then, when he's seen all his life's work brought to ruin, only then will I allow him to die. Take him away. Shame we have to keep you alone. How about you give me bodyguards? Fancy meeting you here. Let's go, people. Charles Lee gone? The harbor. To catch a ferry. Bonk. <laughs> Might as well blow us on the thriving. Okay, that's where I need to go. Sure.
Oh, that's a big ship. That ship looks like there's a fort on this. 